Hi, my name is Niles Flagg, and I'm a visual effects supervisor working in Los Angeles, California. A visual effects supervisor manages the pipeline. That includes the shoot and all the VFX artists that work in the process. So this talk about AI has everyone up and running around trying to figure out what they're going to do next. Well, in visual effects, we used to shoot on a green screen. Now we don't. AI has eliminated the green screen. This is the result of the exact same shot where I captured my motion from my body and applied it to a CGI character. Animated the character and replaced myself in the shot. It's pretty clean. And the AI did that much faster than a human. Typically these shots would take us roughly a couple of days. Green screens and whatnot, all the way to getting to the end piece. That's no longer, that's no longer uh, the case. Here's a shot where I split myself so you can see. Clearly that's my performance that the AI pulled out of the shot of a regular camera shot and applied it to a three-dimensional CGI character and then placed it in three dimensions in the shot, which is just a 2D shot. It's crazy to me. Shadows and everything. So here's a shot I shot. I went downtown Los Angeles just to just to play with the software, the AI software, and shot some random people walking around doing different things. I wanted to see what happens when things cross over one another. And this was the result. We get glitches in the AI, but it still knows which character is which, which, is, which was amazing. Of the three characters, it still knows, and they all crisscrossed one another. Sure, there are a few glitches, but that's pretty interesting. Nothing that a little cleanup pass in 3D, what we usually do afterwards anyway, would take to clean up the shot. And here's a tri-split shot where you can see <clears throat> it captures the motion of the actor or the person and extracts it. And it, the AI software knows people from cars, from bicycles, from everything else. Not so great, but the AI worked. Here's another shot near Starbucks and the Apple Store and whatnot. And I wanted to do a panning shot, not necessarily with cars crossing, because I know it'll glitch there. But I just wanted to see if it would keep the characters in a moving camera shot. And sure enough, I, to my surprise, it worked really well. The characters, color, the cor color correction, the temperature, everything it comes out beautifully. And especially what I mean for a first pass. And we can clean those up afterwards <clears throat> with a clean pass. So here's another split <clears throat> of that one. And you can see clearly it, it takes the performance from human anatomy and applies it to the CGI. Pretty incredible. little glitchy there on his feet. 
but that's an easy cleanup as well. So you're going to have to embrace AI eventually.